What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and on today's video I am going to show you guys how to wrap a vehicle yourself. We have purchased some cheetah wrap film. It's a metallic black so we're going to kind of go back towards the stock look with this. So first you're going to want to get the surface as clean as possible. So for that we're going to use distilled water mixed with isopropyl al alcohol and a microfiber towel and we're gonna start surface prepping. Now I've already washed this vehicle. All right, so now I have finished the surface prep. I popped the hood, cleaned under the edges real good. It's always real important. Also, I fired up the air compressor. So right before I lay the wrap, I'm gonna blow any remaining dust particles that might be there off. Uh, as you can see, there's some rough spots. So there was some chipping. I used some fine grit sandpaper to try and get the main chipped areas off so it'll be smooth once it's wrapped but i'll give you a quick little rundown of my cart before we start cutting out the piece for the hood so i can do another detailed video of this in the future but basically you're going to want to get some magnets some little tools like this for specialty tucking reasons you want easy access to all your cleaning solution goo gone stuff like that you want knifeless tape, some fishing line for taking off emblems and stuff, maybe a little toolkit, some microfiber towels, squeegee, a 30 degree blade razor like this, and little pliers to break off the razor. Uh, that's about it, guys. Tape measure, heat gun, and air compressor, um, which is not 100% necessary, but if you want quality, you got to invest a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do is, well, I guess I can let you guys know these come in five foot rolls. And so now I got to make sure that this five foot width is going to be big enough for this hood. It's about, it needs to be almost seven feet wide this way. And it's a little over four feet long. So almost there. That's about right. I just want to make note here, once you cut the piece that you will need for the panel, always make sure to put the big roll back in the box um, so it doesn't get damaged. All right. Okay, so I also want you to see a lot of films have a direction posted on it. So this is facing up, obviously. You can see these arrows and you wanna make sure that you have all the directions facing the right direction if possible so you want to treat every film as if it's directional now this is just a gloss metallic film so it's not going to matter but if it was a chameleon or something you have to be mindful of this so i'm going to roll it out now and uh, get started All right, so I have it laid in position uh, pretty much where it needs to be. It's facing the right direction. See, it's facing up towards the windshield. There is, on some films, a clear protective layer on it. So I'm gonna take that off now. And what that's gonna do is enable it to stretch, which we're definitely gonna need. Then you want to make sure you have some anchor points work with. So right here, and make sure this is nice and down in this corner.
All right, now I made it down the whole center. I made it to these two body lines and I'm gonna work down this curve towards the edges. Now you don't wanna stretch it over the gap here. You wanna lay into it. Okay guys, when you get to parts like this, a lot of this is not needed. And when I'm going and trying to stretch on this corner, it's gonna cause tension in a lot of areas that's not necessary. So I'm gonna start to trim this away. Now I've trimmed a lot of this excess away on the corner. So it's gonna be a lot easier for me to lift this up and lay down into this here. I'm gonna start to lay down into this. As you can see, I got the whole thing laid down. But what I wanna show you specifically is how to do these edges here. Now this section specifically doesn't look too bad. Um, but now if you go around here like this, you can see that right as it comes to the edge, it forms wrinkles and moves to the side. So what you're gonna wanna do, like here these wrinkles you can see, um, what you want to do is lift the tension out and get that nice and tucked with a squeegee and do some tucking in essentially like this. And then once we get it all nice and tucked with no wrinkles across the gap, we'll do a nice little razor cut. I've made some progress around all these corners. You can see I'm basically just going around the edge, making sure it's nice and tucked. You can then go ahead and start to make your cut in the gap. And you want to, of course, be careful not to nick any of the original paint. And just be nice and smooth. As long as there's no wrinkles, just run it smooth, straight, and you shouldn't have any issues. So I split it like this. Now I can begin to peel this this way. And I'll work this back. And I'll peel this this way. And work it towards the corner. Now there's less tension, I can lift this up, tuck it down around this edge nice. Nice, no wrinkles over the edge. Then we're just gonna pop the hood and we'll get a lot nicer access to be able to finish up this tuck. You can just heat it up a little bit, use your finger, get that all nice and down. Same thing with the side here and heat all this on that corner. As long as you don't have a bunch of excess, you'll be able to get that right up in the edge. If you like this type of content, give me a like, comment and subscribe. Let me know your feedback. And uh, if you wanna keep seeing these wrap videos, I'll uh, post more. Thanks.